2020 was a difficult year with COVID, as you'll be well aware, and 2021 has been tough too. However, Christian Friends of Israel UK has still been able to operate in amazing ways, of which we give thanks to our team in the UK, the staff, trustees, volunteers, the supporters, intercessors, and of course, most importantly, the Lord God of hosts. Here's a selection of some of the areas we've been able to minister through 2021. So do enjoy this and thank God that despite all, he is still in control and worthy to be praised. We start this section off with a short clip from Revelations TV, uh, the Middle East report, in which Simon Barrett introduces the Christian Friends of Israel UK Chief Executive, Jacob Vince. Warm welcome to the programme. I have two special guests. They are Jacob Vince, who is the Chief Executive of Christian Friends of Israel, and also Stephen Winston, who is the newly appointed Chief Executive of the Zionist Federation. But, but how has um, COVID-19 and the whole crisis affected the way Christian Friends of Israel advocate for Israel in the UK? Um, well, it's, it's been a little bit different for us, as you can imagine. Um, first of all, working out what we are allowed to do and what we're not. Um, and what implications that, that has. So we had to cancel a conference, for example, uh, before the conference centre had closed. So then having to deal with all that and refunds. Um, but I think for us, the biggest thing is reaching beyond our existing support base, uh, because we normally we're going to Christian festivals and exhibitions, and that hasn't been possible. So we've done some things online. We've been able to present a seminar to Christian Resources exhibition, for example. Um, but that, and so really, we're then relying on our own supporters to reach out to their friends and obviously doing more online, but you can't always reach the people you want to. You reach your existing audience or people that are interested in the subject, but the way that it tends to work, you know, online is it, people go into their silos. And if, like me, you're interested in rugby, you've, all the rugby videos keep appearing and you watch those, whereas, in fact, you know, you'd like to help people to expand their horizon, to understand a different perspective on Israel and to see things in, in context rather than just go down one... one um, uh, avenue or rabbit been involved with uh, as the director for Christian Friends of Israel now for about a decade now. So this is something that you've had about 10 years of experience in, in doing. But why is it so important that, that, that Christians who have a love and a heart for Israel and the Jewish people get on board and get we need, involved? We need to be there and come alongside and show the right friendship to Israel. And this is a very practical way in which we can do it. It's all right to say I'm a friend of Israel, but to be a friend, you've actually got to be doing things that are about friends. And so this is something which we can do in our country. Um, if you're, it's all right to say, as Tony Blair did, education, education, education. But if it's bad education, they're not going to learn very well, are they? So it's good education is what we're after. Get people to realise and, you know, something that will help cooperation rather than perpetuate a conflict. And that's something we can do in this country um, alongside the Jewish community. The Christian uh, community is much or constituency is much more widespread across the country. So we've got a, a much wider reach when we work together. And these are subjects which we feel about. They're, they're um, you know, this, they're, they are subjects of social justice. And there's enough other people saying that they're doing things social justice and often they're antisocial and a miscarriage of justice. Let's do some that really are and we can do it practically. We're, we're allowed to in this country. Let's use the democracy we're in to do so. One of the big events CFI did in 2021 was hosting a special Holocaust memorial event called Light in the Darkness. In normal circumstances, we would have had our CFI regional links and church links putting on live HMD services in various places within the UK. However, COVID-19 forced us to plan ahead and to do a memorial event on YouTube. Our keynote speaker was Dr. Susanna Cockenham, and Susanna was ideal to bring one of many messages as she had worked at the Holocaust Memorial Museum, the Yad Vashem, in Israel for over 10 years. We also included a short film from our CFI Jerusalem's office coordinator for Project Forsake Them Not, who shared her experience on how she has the privileged position of coming alongside precious Holocaust survivors and these films can still be seen on our YouTube channel. In other areas of the memorial event, we showed various films along with music, art and poetry as we remembered and enabled many to learn about this important time in history 
one of which nobody should ever forget. One of the artists included the stunning work of sand artist uh, Ilana Yehav. And Ilana was Israel's Got Talent finalist. And she'd also performed at the Vatican and the Kremlin, as well as for the King of Belgium. We also showed young football students from Middlesbrough, Manchester City and Norwich City uh, visiting Auschwitz. And our prayers are that, that these youngsters will never forget what they learned and that they too can go on to be a witness. There's only so much that you can learn from a textbook or from film, so actually being able to see it has really enhanced their understanding, I think, and helped them to understand the severity of it. With more than 4,000 people watching the event, we have had a huge response through emails and WhatsApp, the chat that was available on the night and other areas. One person commented stating, it was such a moving presentation and they thanked us for the loving and dedicated hearts in remembering the Holocaust. And another wrote, what can I say? Words are certainly not enough except to praise and thank God for all the time, hard work, inspiration and prayer that all of you invested in what was to be such a varied but challenging memorial event. Light in the darkness, it certainly was and ought to bear much good fruit and lasting fruit. And in an age when anti-Semitism is as high today as it was in the 1930s, the importance of remembering has never been greater. The need for education on Nazi persecution and Holocaust is vital. Why? Because the lack of knowledge increases intolerance, anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial. This is our Chief Executive Jacob Vince who included the following statement. May we remember and learn together, both now and in every generation, and so work to ensure that anti-Semitism in all its forms dies its overdue death and is replaced by the light of life and hope. Another conference that Christian Friends of Israel were involved with in 2021 was our two-day national prayer conference, this time on Zoom. We had to do it on Zoom simply because of the COVID pandemic. But we believe it was hugely beneficial for God's kingdom. The theme of 2 Chronicles 20 was lifted high through both the meetings and blessed many in many ways. And we used a variety of people through the staff, trustees, CFI links and volunteers and they came together with supporters and intercessors alike. As we fixed our eyes on the Lord, he honoured our time together. And again, we've had a great amount of feedback. One supporter stated, thank you so much for going before us to prepare this excellent groundbreaking day. From start to finish, the day has been a delight and has indeed been a rallying call. I have thoroughly been blessed by the lovely people and prayer warriors in my breakout group. Another one stated, it was certainly a highly significant and important day. And another supporter wrote in and stated, We did feel encouraged, enlightened, challenged and motivated by all of you. And one more stated, I tried Zoom for the first time at the CFI prayer conference and had a brilliant day. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, Father of light, we thank you for all you bring to our lives every day. For your light. We thank you for the miracle of Israel as a light to the nations. We thank you, Father, for your word, the Bible, where we see history and prophecy come together. As restrictions to COVID started to unlock through 2021, this allowed us to get back onto the road and join in with a summer festival at the Lincolnshire Showground at the One event. This time it was slightly smaller than usual and the resources rather different in the fact that we had to work from gazebos. But the joy and welcome was still there. 
These festivals are a great way to get our resources out to the people in, within the church and it allows us to have quality conversations. And we pray that this would lead to a fresh understanding to many about Israel, the roots of our faith, and would eventually produce a harvest of new fruit within the churches. Meanwhile, come September and down in Eastbourne, we had great feedback from a various amount of people and supporters expressing their appreciation of the CFI UK conference. And it was great to have David Hofbrand step in at such short notice as the original main speaker, Andy Angel, had become unwell and was unable to speak at the conference. However, we were really pleased to hear David Hofbrand, who is an author, speaker and singer-songwriter, speak about the Jewishness of Jesus. The other speaker, Claire Lambert, also gave a great message in session four. It was entitled, Jesus Returning as King, which was taken from her book. In Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 21, we read, Set up road signs, erect guideposts, pay attention to the highway, the path on which you travelled. Through what you have seen and in the many other areas of this ministry of Christian Friends of Israel, we believe we are indeed setting up road signs and erecting guideposts for those who take their Bible seriously and want to walk with God to pay attention to the highway and the rich Hebraic roots of the path on which you travel. Standing side by side with the people and nation of Israel, we desire to encourage the church with a deeper understanding of her roots and relationship with Israel whilst challenging prejudice and anti-Semitism and assisting the Jewish community both here and in the UK and in Israel through our CFI Jerusalem office. If you want to stand alongside us, then may God remember each of us as he did with Noah, favour us as he did with Moses, fight for us as he did with Israel, prosper us like Isaac, promote us like Joseph, protect us like Daniel, and use us like Paul, anoint us like David, and may the Lord God honour us as we honour him through our calling. This is our prayer for all who work with us as we continue working with the church and standing with the people and nation of Israel throughout 2022 and the years to come. For more information, just go to our website at www.cfi.org.uk.